Shall I call your father and Mr. Jamie and will you? You do it. It's a wonder your father wouldn't look at his watch once in a while. He's a devil for making the meals late, and the Bridget curses me as if I were to blame. <laughs> oh, but he is a grand, handsome man if he is old. You'll never see the day you're as good looking, nor Mr. Jamie either. <laughs> I'd wager that Mr. Jamie would never miss the time to stop his work and have his drop of whiskey if he had a watch to his name. <laughs> you win that one. And here's another I win. I bet you're making me call them so you can sneak a drink in before they come. Oh, well, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, no, not you. But you're going to tell to your mouth, I suppose. Well, now that you suggested it. Oh, I never suggest a man nor a woman touch drink, Master Edmund. Sure, didn't he kill an uncle of mine in the old country? Oh, but a drop now and then is no harm when you're in low spirits or have a bad cold. Thanks for handing me a good excuse. <laughs> Better call my mother down, too. What for? She's always on time without any problem. God bless her, she has some consideration for the help. She's taking a nap. She wasn't asleep when I finished my work upstairs a while back. Oh, she was lying in the spare room with her eyes wide open. She had a terrible headache, she said. Well, then just call my father. No wonder why my feet kill me each night. I won't go out in this heat and get sunstroke. I'll call from the porch. Mr. Tyrone! God, what a wench. <laughs> 